for yeah. sure. Well, hey, man, it's great to meet you. Thank you for taking a minute out. And sure. before we get into your life as an executive coach, I want to begin with four years ago, we were trying to wrap our heads around this global pandemic, how yeah. long it was going to take and how it was going to affect all of us. How did you make it through that time period and how did it subsequently change you? Yeah, it's a great question. So uh, I entered the pandemic uh, with a lot of things on my mind, as we all did. Uh, you know, we we have to, like two young children. Uh, my uh, oldest uh, daughter who had just had her sixth birthday. Uh, and then, you know, uh, within a week, uh, school was like closed until we didn't know when. Our younger daughter was two uh, and like her daycare was closed. Uh, and so, you know, immediately my, I, I, I think back that time and I think about um, our, our, our kids uh, and, you know, like many people, what they went through and, and how we were all going to uh, help them through it. So yes, dealing with the terrible twos, um, you know, when we're all uh, sequestered at home, you know, really challenging. Um, going through a time when, you know, I was leading uh, a, a team of folks who suddenly, you know, not, not all were, of whom were in the same place, but we all went remote and with a certain discontinuity in the programs that we were leading where, you know, I uh, led uh, corporate innovation and partnerships for uh, a global VC firm. And that meant, you know, uh, supporting uh, you know, programs for, for big companies, accelerators, incubation projects around the world, um, making that all virtual and uh, moving it to Zoom really quick, you know, uh, took a lot of time. Um, and uh, and it, it happened relatively quick, but didn't feel like it at the time. There's just a lot of uncertainty. Um, and, uh, you know, I think we, we managed through that time successfully because uh, we just had a, um, a, an, an openness to trying new things. And, uh, you know, that's, that's all that uh, I think we can do is be in a state of mind of bold experimentation, whether it's how are we going to uh, help our kids, you know, thrive and learn at home, split our time as, as uh, parents get the groceries, uh, or even um, you know manage things for uh, for for dozens of uh, startups in in multiple geographies. So you're leading powerful people to a more powerful place. Yeah, to simplify it, so to speak. But if I was yeah. to put you in front of a bunch of third graders at career day, yeah, and one of the kids looked up and said, "Hey, what do you do for a living?" Yeah, how do you answer that child? I help. People who have a lot of responsibility, who are leading other people to make great decisions and be the best version of themselves, just like your coach, when you play little league or soccer, wants you to do the best you can and have fun doing it. Yeah. So what did you want to be in the third grade? What was your dream? When I was in third grade, I wanted to be a zoologist. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever pursue it? No, I, uh, I, I, I love nature. I love animals. I care about the environment. Um, I d decided I wasn't going to be a scientist. I wanted to do something, though, that was very creative uh, and, um, and allowed me to build things as well. And so uh, business became uh, an avenue to do that. I uh, you know, found myself studying finance and uh, working with with startups uh, from the time I was in in college when I had a transformational, uh, you know, uh, internship in the summer of '99, and uh, you know that that has been the uh, the bug I've caught and 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 the thing I've been working uh, in since. So take me back to where you were born and raised, and how these seeds of being an entrepreneur and being yeah. somebody that leads leaders. How did this happen? Yeah. So I have had a childhood marked by continuous change. Uh, I was, so my, my, my mom's from Malaysia. My dad is from India. I uh, was born in Malaysia, uh, but like lived there till I was like six months old. I uh, lived in India till I was two. And then we moved to the UK and I lived in England and Wales till I was almost eight. We lived in Saudi Arabia where my parents were uh, expats for uh, a few years. I went to a um, British boarding school in India for a couple of years. Uh, I went to high school in New Jersey and Massachusetts. Um, so I like before I got to college, I had lived in five different countries. I had uh, gone to like eight or nine different schools. Um, it was uh, like a 
uh, a, a childhood of rapid and constant change. And what that allowed me to do was to stop and process like, what do I need to do? Who do I need to be? Uh, how do I need to show up? Um, how am I going to make uh, new friends adapt to new uh, places and situations? And how that affects me today is there is a high velocity of change that uh, the people I work with are experiencing. And, uh, and it is hard for them to um, sometimes grapple with that. But also uh, the people that they lead are trying to adapt to that change as well. Uh, and so the, um, the openness of one's mind, the ability to, um, to have a, uh, a growth mindset and lean into to change and the possibilities it can bring is very important to uh, not just who I am, but like the, the lens through which I try and help others be successful. So who's been an inspiration, a hero for you in your life? You know, I've had uh, I've had several people uh, who have taught me uh, a number of, of things uh, in uh, in my time. I think I've been lucky to have like certain uh, professors uh, who, when I was in college or grad school, like were able to transition from business into teaching, uh, and were were great mentors in terms of like the the diversity of things that they. Um, uh, that, that they had like done and they had experienced. Um, I, uh, I think as a, as an entrepreneur, uh, the people I have like looked up to have been, you know, other, um, uh, other, other individuals who lead with like a whole lot of, of heart and meaning as well as, uh, with, um, you know, a lens of, of, of possibility, uh, and people who lead, who have, um, that, you know, led with, with wisdom. Uh, I, so, you know, so, some of the, you know, the, the people who I appreciate are, you know, folks like, uh, Char the, you know, RIP Charlie Munger, the, the late great Charlie Munger who uh, passed away in December. Um, and, you know, what he had was like just tons and tons of wisdom, uh, the ability to make like really high quality decisions uh, to be an architect of, um, uh, of, of modern Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, and, you know, as someone who was not on day one of his life, an investor, he, like um, uh, Charlie Munger uh, was, I think, a meteorologist in the uh, Second World War. He, uh, you know, went on to um, become a lawyer. He then started investing. He met Warren Buffett much later in life. And then, of course, they had uh, such a great uh, career. And so um, his, his great depth of wisdom and ability to adapt and be, uh, you know, a, a different person actually reflects a growth mindset of, you know, I'm, I, yes, I have a law degree, but that doesn't mean that's, that's all I, uh, I, I can be at various stages and no matter how late in life we can discover uh these things about ourselves um that are uh hugely um transformative if we're willing to be brave and do new things so if you can meet one person alive on the planet that you find inspirational whether in the world of business or otherwise uh, yeah spend some time with them who would that be who would you love to meet and be around for a little bit it's a, a, a great question uh, I think someone I would love to, uh, uh, to, to meet and be around might be uh, um, Mike Moritz, for example, uh, who it was for many years uh, at the helm of, of Sequoia Capital, who has invested in you know, many great companies uh, over time. Uh, and uh, has served on many boards and has seen a lot of uh, top leaders uh, up close. And so I think that is someone who I would uh, really enjoy uh, talking to. Um, and, and he is just you know, a, a legend and one of the, the, the best uh, investors of, of all time. Uh, yeah, and I mentioned two investors now, Charlie Munger and Mike Moritz. They're also builders um, who I can think of uh, that, that I would like to, to meet. 
uh, and talk to, you know, so um, certainly Jeff Bezos is someone who has like such um, extraordinary first principles and, uh, and also an ability to, to, to execute on them in a, in a disciplined way. And I think that that is like really hard uh, to, to stick with. So you've been at this for decades. I'm curious, what is the drive and motivation every day to get up, to help your clients be better and to also yourself evolve as a human? So I have been in one way or another of service to entrepreneurs uh, in, and in doing so, I feel just a sense of excitement and possibility of how uh, an individual is going to be, be better and how they are a lever to affect change in the world uh, through their business, uh, you know, and and through the the type of um, impact they they can do. So, you know, I might be working with someone who is um, uh, who is leading a, um, a wellness focused company, uh, and I know if they are successful, they're going to have an impact in the lives of, of many people. I might be working with someone else who is building like software uh, for um, the hospitality industry, uh, and like that is going to, um, you know, help in, um, people in a field that is under a, a ton of, uh, of, of pressure and, and, and experiencing, you know, a lot of, uh, stress, uh, certainly given the, uh, the state of the economy and, um, and things like that. So I know by helping those people show up and, and, and lead, um, and, and seeing, that you know the the insight they have and um and and being able to appreciate the the change that the that they have in their hands uh i think that that is super rewarding yeah so of all of the clients that you've helped and and uh, gotten to, to to better places what's your favorite client success story well all my so all my clients are uh today people who are CEOs or have been CEOs. Uh, and that's just built off the work I've done for many years, uh, either through uh, my, my work leading portfolio uh, at a VC firm and before that um, managing a venture studio and things of that nature. Um, so what, what I, I think is like the, um, a great success story and, and sort of maintaining confidentiality uh, is you know, I was able to work with um, an individual who, uh, you know, came from a, uh, a background where uh, he had uh, dropped out of college, uh, was, um, but not, not like Harvard or Stanford. Um, and he uh, came from a background where uh, he did not have the network and connections uh, to be uh, successful, you know, um, just uh, off the bat in Silicon Valley. And uh, I think that's a bit of a myth in, in general, but um, certainly had a, a, a modest set of circumstances uh, and, and none of the, the, the network uh, that could have helped. Um, and have, helping him see the possibility of how to tell his story, uh, helping him with um, a narrative around um, uh, how to uh, pitch his story and be himself was really powerful uh, and to bring that conversation sometimes to some of the top um, investors on Sand Hill Road uh, in, and, you know, in San Francisco uh, was, was, was really amazing. So I got to see that transformation um, and uh, he, and, you know, this is someone who uh, I had advised in my, 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 my previous role and I, I still get to, um, uh, to, to, to coach ad hoc today. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's building something that could become an enormous, uh, you know, multi-billion dollar valuation company, uh, but it has been like such a road. And so I see like him being the best version of himself to go back to that, like third grade message um, I, I shared before, you know, that is like really awesome because he's going to build not just something valuable, as I said, but also something that's going to um, create me, uh, meaning and, 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 a, a great place to, to work and, and, and help, uh, all of his, his customers with his, his software in, in the, uh, uh, in the future. So that, that's, kind of, that's my, uh, you know, super meaning, uh, meaningful transformation story, uh, and, and how, yeah, like 
someone who thought uh, things were out of reach, you know, are uh, actually possible. So you give good advice to clients, steering them in the right direction. Yeah. But I'm curious, what's the best advice you've ever gotten? Um, the best advice I ever got was when you are set with a number of choices, you know, move towards the place in the decision tree with the most branches. Because sometimes you, you don't have a lot of data, but if you have a lot of, uh, of, of options, uh, you know, go there. Uh, and once you're there, like be able to, to figure out which of these doors are, uh, are one way versus you can like walk in and out. Uh, it, because you, particularly when you're building a high uh, growth company or a, a startup in the early days, um, you will have to uh, reverse some decisions. There's going, you're going to have to pivot. You're going to have to do some things. Uh, and sometimes um, not giving yourself a way to have that flexibility uh, is, is a real problem. So um, thinking about uh, choices in, uh, as, as a decision tree and, and, have, and finding the place with the most uh, paths is uh, you know, the best advice I've gotten. So of all of these things that you've accomplished and become and evolved into in your life, what are you the proudest of? I'm most proud of my, uh, my, my role as a parent. Uh, you know, I think that that continues to be like my most important job. It's like something I will never be good at, uh, but I just have to show up and uh, do, the, be, do the best version of that every day. Uh, I was uh, going to my uh, older daughter's spring concert this week. And um, actually my, my, uh, my kindergartner asked me, uh, what's your job? And I said, what do you think my job is like you take care of me and like okay that's then that's the job yeah that's great so yeah. let me ask you this if you had a dream tonight and ran into the 18 year old version of you and you yeah. could give that young version of you a piece of advice based on this life you've led the wisdom you've gained what advice would you impart on that young version and would that version of you listen i would tell the 18 year old version of myself um to not uh, follow your, your passion and don't talk about passion, follow your curiosity and think about what are the problems you wanna solve. Okay. So and focus on just being deep into solving problems rather than, you know, the, um, just following what, uh, what, what sounds like it's, uh, it, uh, it's exciting and uh, uh, and bringing joy in just a moment because that is fleeting. So let's stay in this time hop here. Yeah. If uh, we get off this call, time machine pulls up in front of your house, you can go back in time and see one event in human history, or you mm -hmm. could go into the future and see what's going on. What are you going to choose? Where are you going? I think I would go back to a moment of scientific uh, discovery. Uh, I would love to go back in, in time and see, you know, uh, Isaac Newton when, you know, the, the apple falls from the tree and he has a moment of inspiration. I'd love to see, you know, um, Fleming walk into a uh, room and see, you know, what is this mold stuff or, or, or what, 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 you know, how he discovered pencil and then like what, what had grown in the Petri dish. Um, you know, I, uh, I, I think I would love to see a moment like that where there's this accident, this happy accident, which is a source of uh, inspiration. That would be really cool. So yeah. let me ask you this, VJ. everyone has a perception of you, family, friends, clients, colleagues, but you run the show. What's your perception of you? Who do you think you are? I am someone who is of service to entrepreneurial leaders. And I uh, am someone who sees the connection between things. Uh, and I've done that my whole life. Uh, and so the, I'm, uh, I think other people um, see 
me uh, as someone who sees the possibilities uh, and helps uh, others uh, clarify their understanding of those possibilities. So if anyone out there wants to delve into your work further, hire you, any of the good business, where is the best place to go? MyStartupSystem.com is the website uh, and they can find me there. Uh, I'm also uh, pretty accessible on LinkedIn and active. Uh, I have, I'm on Medium and Substack, uh, so there's stuff to read. Uh, but yeah, the, the website is uh, the first place to land and find out more. Excellent. I keep thinking behind you, you got the wine Bible. It would be really cool if there was a wine glass on top of it. <laughs> it's, it's captured my imagination. I really like that painting too behind you. Thank you. It's by my sister, who is an artist. Her name is Padma Rajendran. Uh, you can see some of her work at PadmaRajendran.com. Uh, uh, she uh, teaches at various places, uh, including uh, at Vassar College in New York, where she's on the faculty. And uh, she is uh, an, an artist who works in, in many different uh, media. That's excellent. Very cool. I'm going to check it out. Yeah, I that's mine behind me. So I, I do the visual arts myself. So yeah. Oh, wow, cool. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Well, man, VJ, this has been great. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your story. Yo, thank, thank you. For your time. This has been a pleasure. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely a delight. Yes, absolutely.